I've uh, I've got my little uh, Y1 light camera in a protective case that I fly with and I've just sellotaped a little piece of transparent plastic from uh, packaging on the front to see how clear it is because if this works it'll be a great way to protect it from uh, abrasion if I have a crash when I'm flying so that's that's what the experiment is today also so this is the kind of <clears throat> plastic I've used to protect the lens it's uh, just fairly rigid transparent plastic that a set of knives came in and what I've done here's the little uh, tube that I use to protect the camera and I've just sellotaped the, uh, the lens protector on the front. The interesting thing with this, although the camera I use has got good filtering built in, uh, you could put an old sunglass lens or anything over the top if you want different effects. And here's my favourite camera, the Y1 Lite. Um, this has got a scratch lens on this side. I don't know if it's possible to see it, but I'll put, point to it. Over on this side, the lens has got some bad scratches on it. So you can pick it up if you look. I'm waiting for a new lens to come, plus a backup camera. Um, so when I use it, all I do, so I slip it in from this side, and uh, just goes in like that. And then I can turn it off and on through a hole in the top. And then I mount it on the, on the bugs. This is just looking around the garden, looking out to sea. Um, and there's my windsock flying, which indicates that the, uh, the wind's pretty much coming from the south. And there's a magpie up on that uh, light stand. No, it's not a magpie. Yes, it is. It's a magpie. I thought it was a crow for a moment. Hiya bird! So the first experiment I did when the microphone wasn't exposed enough it seemed to do a pretty good job so I'm just doing a little bit more test footage I'm aware that this is the camera that's got a faulty lens at the moment so I'm waiting for a new lens plus a backup camera Hi bird, you still there? Okay well this is probably just about enough footage to get an idea of what it's going to look like um, Again, when I get a new lens, I'm looking forward to being able to adjust the focus for flying. I want it on, on distance anyway, I don't need close-up. But it's nice to know that uh, you can screw the lens out and adjust it to whatever focus you want. So, uh, it's part of the continuing episode of Live and Learn. I wish I'd thought of this before I scratched the lens, but uh, hopefully this means the new one will uh, have a better run. So, we will see. Here's the said bugs with its uh, ready to have the camera attached by the rubber bands. And here it is <coughs> attached again. Something I learned with rubber bungee straps a while ago is uh, always use uh, two so you've got a backup, two, two per side so you've got a backup. So I haven't actually flown with the, uh, the stuff on the front yet, but uh, the garden test give me a lot of hope it's going to work well. The other little thing I've done is I've, I've glued these little legs on here so the notion is that, that stops the rubber bands from sliding off. So uh, <laughs> low cost technology that does the job I wanted to do is uh, I guess what I'm all about. So once again, thanks for watching. Bye.